yourself? Yes. Darling, it's gorgeous. Make a wish, Mom. Help! <laughs> I'll shoot those guys out there. Plead temporary insanity. Would you corroborate my story? Oh, shit. Yeah? The alarm didn't go off. Come on. Mm. It's almost eight. Mm -hmm. Julie has a test in her first period. Mm. Where's your tie? Oh. And I can't take her. I have this stupid early faculty meeting. Dave. I'm up. I'm up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Gotta go, darling. Everyone is gonna be there. I already told Brian I could go, and if I back out now, he's gonna think I'm a chicken. Morning. You know how hard it is to get a reservation at Claire's this time of year. Hey, I thought you'd be thrilled. I slept just fine. Thank you, Betty. But you never said you made plans. It was supposed to be a surprise. Hey, who cleaned up? But I did. But that is not the point. The point what? is, I never said that you could go away for the weekend either. You're crazy. I would have well, helped. Dave did. 
Is that true? Somebody was supposed to tell you. Well, I forgot. Well, you're not going, and that's that. Great. Thanks a lot. But if you think I'm going to Claire's with you instead, think again. She has to be in school in seven seconds. You gotta go. Can I help you? I was just... What are you doing here? Well, I could ask you that question. Nobody's supposed to be here this time of night. So what are you still doing here? Aren't you in my music theory class? Just, I can't get it right. Nothing I play sounds adequate. Not a single note I'd play. Well, it's not your notes that are wrong. But you need to slow down. Try to pay more attention to what happens in between the notes. Try to hold on to time. What do you mean? Suspension. Silence. That's where you'll find what you're looking for. in the distance between things. And you really shouldn't be smoking in here. Let me know when you'll want to go. I'll let you out. No need to climb out the window.
the suit and send us a written report. Or a food basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Helen's here. Hey, love. Thank God you're here. You gotta save me from this man. He thinks he's invincible. What are you doing here? Huh? Well, actually, I was nowhere near this neighborhood, and I just thought I'd stop by and say hi, but you are so busy. I'm sorry. I should have called first. No, no, no. It's perfect. We're going to go to lunch in a few minutes. Why don't you come with us? Yeah. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. You don't have to eat. Just join us. You know, I, I really should just go home and get out of these clothes. You sure? Yeah. Absolutely. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I'll see you later. All right. See you, Seuss. Take care, honey. Hello, everyone. After I've returned your essays, we'll discuss... <clears throat> We will. Excuse me. I'm going to bed. Sleep tight, sweetheart. Sorry, Dan, sir. Did you like dinner? It was incredible. Yeah, okay, whatever that means. Good night. Helen? I love this car. I know you do. secret what makes you think I have a secret don't you not with you what is it honey it's nothing I'm just tired. I'm just really tired, that's all. It's nothing. I always hate the beginning of the semester. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go inside. Have you eaten? Yeah. I only tried the very first carbonara sauce. It's scary.
What are you doing here, honey? Why aren't you at school? I was at school. What time is it? It's 4.15. Jesus. Must have slept like a rock. Please help me with this map. I really need to get this done before I leave. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Do you want me to call Dad to come and pick me up? No. Of course not. I'm taking you. I'm not going on a world trip, Mom. I'll be back in three weeks. I know. Okay. Go, Mom. I don't think that she should try and work things out with him. I think that she should pack her bags, take the kids, move back to California, and sue the hell out of him until he doesn't have a pot to piss in anymore. Mm -hmm. You sure you want to go out to this woman? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, excuse me. He is like the biggest fucking cliche on the block, okay? First of all, he sleeps with every assistant he's mm. ever had, lies to Louise about it for three and a half years, and then he makes her feel guilty for not being there for him. Like, now it's her fault that he sleeps around like some fucking dog in heat. <laughs> well, I, I thought only female dogs go into heat, don't they? What do male dogs do? Uh, it's permanent conditions, but then that doesn't require a baby. Oh, Susanna, oh, really? remind <laughs> me, when exactly did we lose the ability to have a civilized conversation? Excuse me. I didn't bring this up. I don't no, always. Yes, you did. I did? Well, this you know, you know, I did. Dog, yeah. sweetie. No, we were... reference to... <laughs>
We believe that life can be perfect. So we are always miserable because it never is. Whereas they believe that even under the best of circumstances, life could maybe be improved. So what are you saying, that we should lower our expectations to a point that they're already met? No, I think she's saying we should go to Europe more often. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't need to go back, David. There's no room for improvement in his life. He loves his life. Isn't that disgusting? Mm-hmm. Somebody should sue me. Uh, well, oh, there's a job. That might be a dare. Helen, you're still in there? Helen? Excuse me. Uh, have you seen my wife? Helen? Helen? What the fuck is going on? What are you doing here? Huh? Sorry, I didn't feel well. What's wrong? Are you okay? No. It's nothing. Nothing? You disappeared without saying a word to us. I'm sorry. I should have said something. Listen, David. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Is there someone else? Is there? Wait a minute, is, is that what this is all about? You're suspecting me of fucking around? Not. Then what is it? What's so awful that you won't tell me? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Helen, I used to know everything about you. For better or for worse, remember? Come on, honey, talk to me. What's Stop going on? it, please. Stop interrogating me.
Leonard? How is she? Well, there's nothing physically wrong with your wife. I've notified Dr. Barnes. He's the neurologist on well, call. I don't understand. You just said there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with her. You'll have to wait for Dr. Barnes. Give me the goddamn time of day, will you? She's practically unconscious. Seems the problem is psychiatric. What the hell are you talking about? There's no physical cause for her symptoms. Look, this is... You know what? I, I want a second opinion, all right? Well, I am the second opinion. Please wait for Dr. Barnes. Do you suffer from insomnia or hypersomnia? Less sleep or more than usual? She hasn't slept through the night in a while, but she's always been the light sleeper. Have you been in a depressed mood almost all the time for more than two weeks? Do you have a marked diminished interest in nearly every aspect of your life? Have you had a considerable weight loss or gain without a change in diet? She lost some weight, yeah. Are you unable to concentrate or think clearly? Mrs. Leonard, can you answer my questions? Have you been here before? No. Has anyone ever prescribed you? Yes. Pardon? I've been here before. When? Twelve years ago. How long have you been married? So I understand you had no knowledge of this prior episode. How come I didn't see this coming? It's not unusual. Some people can hide it well. You should meet some of the clowns we have on Suicide Watch. I'm going to prescribe her an antidepressant and Ativan to control anxiety. But it'll take at least two weeks before she feels a response to the antidepressants. Now, in some cases, the side effects can be quite uncomfortable, but they tend to subside after about two to four weeks. What kind of side effects? Well, it varies. Uh, nausea, drowsiness, night sweats, constipation, diarrhea, blurred vision, thirst. Make sure she doesn't drink alcohol, and it's very important that she stays with the medication on a regular basis. Helen is a happy, successful woman. She loves her job. She loves her daughter. Your wife is not unhappy, Mr. Leonard. Your wife is ill. They don't help. It's too early to tell, you know that. 
could just make it worse. That's supposed to be temporary. How come we never talked about this? Hmm? You don't want to hear it? Try me. <sighs> I can't. I'm sorry. I want you to get these books for me and cancel my lunch meeting with Lucas. But tell him also I'm going to want to continue the trial. You smell a rat. I didn't smell it. What do you need these for? Just do it, okay? Uh, send them to my home address, please. What's going on, David? I'm gonna take a few days off. <laughs> oh, man, so will I when this is over. I deserve it. I mean, now. Wait. Today? Yes. What, are you out of your mind? We're on the eve of trial. We'll move for a continuance. On the trial date? What if the judge denies it? You can handle it. I'll call you tomorrow night. I'm not gonna touch you, okay? <laughs> and just sit here. Okay? We'll prescribe her a different medication, but as long as she refuses to be hospitalized... Don't you see how sick she is? I'm scared to let her out of my sight. At this point, I can only help your wife if she wants to be helped. That's the law. I know the law, but my wife is sick and you're telling me you can't help her. You're forgetting that these laws are designed to protect people like your wife, Mr. Leonard. I need you to sign this. It states that you're leaving against medical advice. Helen. Please. Take you to your room now. It's just 
way down as well. Can I talk to you for a minute? You want to come in? No, I don't want Julie to know I'm here. Can we go someplace else? She was ready and willing to abandon her one-year-old daughter, David. Is that exactly something a mother is happy to share? If Julie hadn't woken up crying that night, then Helen wouldn't be alive today. She never forgave herself for that. What about you? What'd you do? I never had a chance. She shut me out from the start. Wouldn't talk about it. Tried to fight it, just ended up fighting her. And I lost. End of story. Never talked about it later. I tried, she wouldn't have it. Just pretended it never happened. And then she moved on without me. I'm not gonna let that happen. Don't be a jerk, David. You think this is about love? It isn't. There is nothing you can do. I don't believe that. You're not gone, Helen. You're just lost. Hey! Hello? Hold on a second. <laughs> Jesus, Matilda. Come on, let's go. Let's get you cleaned up. Hey. Hi. What happened with her? She's in my class. She was in my class. I have class today. I took care of it, don't worry. I called in sick for you. I should be in class. Helen, look at me. If you don't want to be here, tell me. I'll take you home right now. How's Julie? Have you talked to her? She's good. She's coming home on Saturday. She sends her love. I don't want her to know why I'm here. Uh, Tell her I have a virus or something. Nothing too serious. You can't keep it a secret from her. She's not a little kid anymore. I don't want her to know why I'm here. Well, then you have to keep her away from you. I'll be fine. I'll handle it. Helen, I told her. She asked me, and I told her. You had no oh. right to do that! Hey. Do you understand? Hey, not Helen. She's hey. my daughter! She's not even she your not. daughter! Oh, I had no right to do that! I don't want 
you to talk to my husband about me. I'm sorry, Dr. Sherman. It's all right, Susan. If I, I, if, if I don't allow it, you can't talk to him about me, right? That's right. If I don't want him, if, if I don't want you to talk to him, you won't. Why don't you sit down? Where are you going? Why do I have to tell you that? You don't have to tell me that. Good. I'm so glad you're here. Me too, darling. <laughs> We kick some serious Latin Saturday. Yes. And Dave taped the whole thing. So we can watch it later. You should lay down and rest a bit. Yes, and I'll cook for us, and then we can watch the game. I have an idea. How about the three of us go away next weekend? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I can't. Come on, Mom. Why not? I have a better idea. Why don't the two of you go? Huh? That'd be fun. No. I want us all to go. We'll all stay here. I have homework. Come on, Chip. So if you consider these principles. Schubert Sonata. Something like this is bullshit. today. I don't want to talk. Okay. I'm doing better. Decided to be a good girl for a while. Top five worst pieces of advice from people who don't know what they're talking about. Take a vacation. Read a book. Get a haircut. Redecorate. Try yoga. Top five ways of killing yourself. Top five 
good reasons to live anyway. I can still see it all around me, but it's like I don't belong there anymore. And I see... <sighs> I see how sad it makes David. And I see... <laughs> how sad it makes Julie, and that makes it that much harder, but I can't go back, and I am really sick. Apologizing for it. Then don't. Do you have any idea how worried I was? I I'm called sorry, everyone. David. I called the hospitals. Can, can, can you even begin to imagine what I thought? I didn't to realize you? how late it got. Hey, <sighs> you're not the only one suffering here. Do you understand? I know. You know? I don't think so. I don't think you know what it's like to live with the shadow of the woman you love. David. No. David, I'm sorry. Whatever. You hear me? Thirteen. Hey. Just wanted to tell you that I'm going to spend the night at Dad's. Why? It's only Thursday, isn't it? Yes, it's Thursday. I just wanted to give you and Dave some space. You don't need to do that. You know that, don't you? I'm gonna go. I'll see you Monday.
What happened? Why didn't you follow my suppression motion with the judge? Look, man, I'm sorry, but I've got enough shit on my plate, all right? Last thing I need is something to do with your bullshit. I just before. ask you to do this one thing for me. And no, you... it's not one thing. It's one thing after another, and I'm sick of it. Clean up your own shit and leave me out of it. You'd be nothing but a fuck up with Hey, you, watch it. She you. didn't have to go to jail, man. Who gives a fuck? You know what? Let's just go. Hey, don't you care at David. all about this? What? About your little junky piece of ass? No, I don't. Let her do her time. Maybe she'll get. <laughs> David, no, stop it. David! I wish that there was something that I could do for you, David. Susanna. Good night. What are you doing here? Helen called me. What happened? Don't worry. She'll be all right. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't smoke in here. Go now. No, please don't go. It's okay. We'll talk tomorrow. I am. I've given her three Valiums. She's had enough for tonight. Make sure she doesn't take any more. I let myself out. I need to take another sick leave. No. Of course. I understand. Yes. I will. Thanks.
Frank. Uh, Julie? I want to uh, speak to your mother alone for a moment. Please. Where's David? I want Julie to come and live with me. What? She should stay with me for a while. Take care of her. And don't fight me on this. I'll lose.
Where are you going, Mrs. Leonard? Where are you going? I want to go home. You can't just leave. Excuse me? You can't leave your own restriction. Excuse me? Why don't I take you back to your room and I can get the doctor? Your husband had you committed the day before yesterday. I want to go home. Helen. You almost died. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize to me. Didn't go home that night. But you did. I didn't want to go home. You did go home, David. She can't hold on to you. It doesn't work like that. Can she hold on to you? No. You're not going to like what I have to say. I think you should consider ECT. Shock treatment? I know it's scary. And I know the stigma. But ECT could help you. And the side effects are most likely to be temporary. No. Never. I'd rather die. Helen. I said no. Hey, nobody's forcing you to- Get out! Get out! All right, enough. Enough. Mr. Leonard, please.
Leonard, do you understand these proceedings? Yes. Would you care to explain them to me? I see a handful of strangers who think they know what's best for me. Do you believe they know what's best for you? I would like to decide for myself where and whose help I get. You decided to take your own life, Mrs. Leonard, isn't that true? That was very stupid of me. But isn't it also true that this was, in fact, the second time you tried to kill yourself? Mrs. Leonard suffers from severe suicidal depression. Without continued treatment and supervision, there's a serious risk she'll attempt suicide again. Has Mrs. Leonard indicated in any way that she plans on discontinuing her medication if she leaves here? She doesn't believe the medication is helping. But she hasn't indicated that she plans on discontinuing it, has she? This isn't just about the medication. Dr. Sherman, has she indicated that she plans on discontinuing her medication? No. But Mrs. Leonard needs help. Has Mrs. Leonard indicated that she plans on trying to take her life again? if she leaves here. No. But that doesn't mean Nothing that further, Your Honor. I find that the state has not met their burden of proving with clear and convincing evidence that the patient is a danger to herself or to others. You're free to go, Mrs. Leonard. Okay. Congratulations. Take care of yourself and good luck. I want to see Helen. I don't think she wants to see you. Don't be ridiculous. I know she's here. So that's it. You'll throw away the life you had. Forget about us, about Julie, about everyone who loves you. And give up. Is that it? No, that's not it. Well, it looks like that to me. It's because you can't see it the way I see it. And I assume she does, huh? It's not your fault, David. When are you going to understand that? You know, it's funny how I'm having trouble with that one because if it's not my fault, if it's not my fucking fault, then why the fuck do I get all the blame? Why? You remind me of who I used to be. Isn't that worth fighting for? Helen, isn't it? Julie's better off without me. I'm taking you home. I'm not going. You don't know what you're saying. Okay, let's go. No. I'm not coming with you. Let go of her. Let go of her. Get out of my way. No. Who the fuck do you think you are, huh? You really think I'll let you get away with this? You're fucking nuts, no. huh? so special. Mm. She doesn't ask me how I feel. 
knows. You know, you were right. I, I don't have a clue how you feel. I'm not even there to imagine. But I know how I feel. You're my life, Helen. Without you and Julie, the world means nothing to me. And nothing's going to change that. Ever. I hope you'll remember that one day. If I had no place to fall And I needed to Oh, could I count on you To lay me down Let's get out of here. for a walk. Could I count on you? She was sick for as long as I can remember. To lay me down. And one morning she got up and 
food she made breakfast. After she cleared the table and sent me to my room, she hung herself. All she left her eight-year-old daughter was that goddamn house. So what do you think? Should I keep it? Or should I insure it really well and pay someone to burn it down? you to know me, Helen. I've never wanted that from anybody. Good job, Julie. Something happened to mom? No, no, it was no, sweetie. That's not that's not why I'm here. I'm, I'm sorry. Come here. Oh God, I miss you. Oh. I wanted to visit her in the hospital. But Dad didn't think that was a good idea. is such a wuss. <laughs> did you just call him a wuss? Yes, I did. <laughs> you think we'll ever be together again? Like we used to be? Straight answer. Straight answer. I don't know. We may not. But I hope so, you know. I really do.
Do you know where she is? Julie? Are you Matilda? I was... Uh, I'm looking for my mom. Is she here? Helen? Leave me alone, please. Mom? I'm sorry I left, Mom. No. No. Oh, don't say that. No, darling, I am the one who saw. No matter how long the journey or how deep the descent, In the end, all it takes is one last step. One step between me and madness, between pain and nothing. One single small step.
I do remember is the sense that reality is thin. I think it is thin, you know. Thin is like ice after a thaw. And we fill our lives with noise and light and motion to hide that thinness from ourselves. How's it going? Good. I... Do, do we know each other? Absolutely not. You'd like to change that? Matilda? Jesus. What are you doing here? We weren't at the hospital. No, no, no tomorrow. You, I thought you were getting out tomorrow, no? No, today. I was gonna pick you up. I know. I, 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 I thought, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was tomorrow. I, what am I doing? Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you're home. Days all mixed up. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mess. I was gonna get it all fixed up for you. It was a stupid idea, I guess. Do you want a drink? Let me get you a drink. Don't look at me like that. I see you met Macho. Yeah. Where did you get him? I found him. Look, Helen, I, um, I'm really sorry. I thought it was tomorrow. I did.
I wake you? Bad dreams. They say that's normal. They go away after a while. So now that you have this new life, what are you going to do with it? I don't want a new life. I miss my old one too much. I don't know if there's anything left of it, though. You'll find out, I guess. Matilda. What are you doing? I'm not like you, Helen. Yet, I get tired of turning down the volume all the time. Sometimes I just, I want to hear the music loud and clear. Do you know what I mean? I wish I did. David Leonard's office, please. Do you know where he works now? Thank you. Hey, how was your appointment? Fine. Listen, I'm going to run out for some groceries. were a lousy liar, David. You look terrible. <laughs> but you look good. Different. It was hell. I lost part of my memory, and I don't know if it's all ever going to come back. I'm 
I'm still on medication, but that's no guarantee that I won't relapse. And I am constantly terrified of the idea. And I hate myself for it. I hate myself for what I've done to Julie and you. I hate this illness. Sometimes I still feel like I can't take it anymore. But I am grateful to be alive. I'll never be the same. Maybe. But you'll always be the one. Matilda? You want to go back, don't you? I'm trying to remember who I was. I miss my family. I miss my daughter. I understand that. We can't hide out here forever. I know. But I don't want to leave you, Matilda. Never. You know that, don't you? I know. I'm sorry I scared you. Matilda?
Matilda? Hey. What are you doing up here? Thinking. About what? Stuff. Come on, let's go back inside. No. Let's just sit here for a little while, okay? Just for a little while. How can I say goodbye to you? Go downstairs. Oh, I'm so relieved, you know? Everything's gonna be okay. Yes. I am right here. I know. I'll get him. Okay. Macho! I was prepared to fight. I wasn't prepared to lose. <laughs> 